So you will have met the binomial expansion before, um, but perhaps not quite in this format. This is the format that's given to you in the formula booklet. Um, but there's a couple of things I need to point out here. Um, firstly, is something that often confuses students, um, and that is this 1.2, it seems to be, on the bottom of the fraction of the denominator here, or 1.2 point something over here. Now, this isn't 1.2. Um, once you get to degree level mathematics, um, the multiplication symbol uh, seems to fall by the wayside. And instead of having to write 1 times 2 like that, we write instead uh, 1.2. And we use a dot to represent a multiplication symbol. So this dot here is a multiplication symbol, not uh, a decimal point. Okay, So that's really the first thing to point out. The reason why uh, the multiplication symbol goes by the wayside is just because that's quicker to use and quicker to actually write down. Okay, so that's, that's just something you just need to get used to. So these aren't decimal points. This means one times two. And over here, that means one times two times three times four times five, all the way up to R. Okay? Now actually using this is perfectly fine. Um, because what we can do is we can still use it to expand something like uh, 1 plus x cubed. Okay, So if I do that, then n is 3. So I have 1 plus 3x plus 3 times n minus 1, so that's 2, over 1 times 2 times x squared. Okay, Plus... Uh, then I've got 3 times 2 times 1 okay, uh, over 1 times 2 times 3, x cubed. And then the next term on would be 3 times 2 times 1 times 0 over 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 over uh, times x to the 4, but you can see that the coefficient here is going to be 0, because I've got 0 in the numerator, so all the respective terms after that are just going to be 0. So the only terms that I'm looking at are these 4 here, so I can write that as 1 plus 3x, three, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3, plus 3x three squared, plus... 3 times 2 times 1 over 1 times 2 times 3 is just 1, so I just get x cubed. So we get, as we would expect, 1 plus 3x plus 3x squared plus x cubed. And all the other terms are going to be 0. So that's perfectly fine. You can use um, the binomial expansion from this formula. Okay? You can do all the regular stuff that you were able to do before using this formula. Um, but the concept then goes, well, if it works for n being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, what about if n is minus 2? Or if n is a half? Does it still work? So, in a lot of cases, this is how mathematics developed. And let's see what happens. So let's change this to 1 plus x to the power of, uh, let's say, minus 2. Let's see what happens. So I get 1 plus n times x, so minus 2 times x, plus minus 2 times minus 2 take away 1, so minus 3, over 1 times 2 times x squared, plus minus 2 times minus 3 times minus 4 over 1 times 2 times 3 to the x cubed plus minus 2 times minus 3 times minus 4 times minus 5 over 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 x to the 4 etc. Okay, so if I simplify these 
and we're going to have 1 take away 2x to start off. I've got 6 divided by 2, so 3x squared. I've got uh, 2 times 3 times 4 over 6, so 4, so minus 4x cubed. Then I've got um, 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 over uh, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, that's 5x to the 4, uh, plus da 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 da. Okay? So, what happens here is that I've got 1 minus 2x plus 3x squared minus 4x cubed plus 5x to the 4. The next term is minus 6x to the 5, then plus 7x to the 6, and so on. And what you see here is that I'm expanding a, a, a bracket here with a power of minus 2, and I get an infinite number of terms. And, and it goes on and on and on and on forever. So if you expand a bracket that has a non-integer there, okay, uh, as its power, then what you have is an infinite series. Now, if I write down and say, right, well, does this make any sense? So if I then go, well, what is 1 plus 2, for example, to the power of minus 2? Well, in the back of my head, well, that's 1 plus 2, that's 3. 3 to the power of minus 2 is 1 over 9. So if I substitute in 2 into this, I should get something that is looking like 1 ninth. But I get 1 take away 2 lots of 2, so that's 1 take away 4, plus 3 lots of 4, so that's 12, take away 4 lots of 8, so uh, 16, 32, plus 5 lots of 16, so that's 80, take away another term, plus another term, take away another term, plus another term, and well, what I find is something that is definitely not going to be equal to one ninth. Okay, so in no way is this going to give me anything that is converging to one ninth. So, does that mean it doesn't work? No. It's just you have to be very selective with the values that you substitute in. Okay, so if I tried um, 0 0.2 instead, then I've got 1.2 to the power of minus 2. Can't do that one in my head, I'm afraid. So that's 25 over 36. Which is about 0 0.694 to three decimal places. So let's put it on almost equal to sign. So if I substitute in minus uh, in 0 0.2 this time, I get 1 take away uh, 0 0.4 plus 3 lots of 0 0.2 squared is uh, 0 0.12. Take away 4 lots of 0 0.2 cubed is 0 0.032 plus 5 lots of 0 0.2 to the power of 4. Well, that's um, 0.008. Uh, take away another term. Okay. And if I just look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms, those 5 terms, I get 1, take away 0.4, plus 0.12, take away 0.032, plus 0.008. And that gets me 0.0. 696 exactly those first five terms so you can see that actually if I've done the first five terms that's a pretty good approximation to exact to what it exactly is so it worked for 0 0.2 but it didn't work when x was 2 and that is because each of these binomial expansions will have what is known as a range of validity okay what values they are valid for. And this original um, expansion that I have up here is valid when x, the mod of x, is less than 1, which means when x is between minus 1 and 1. 
If it is outside of that range on your number line, if it is outside of that range, that means that this will not converge to the correct value for you. So it's got to be a value between minus 1 and 1. And we'll look at this in more detail with further examples in the next few videos. So that you can see kind of why 2 didn't work, because that was outside of the range, but 0.2 was inside, so that's where it worked.